Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zurao. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today, we are on Fargo's second home, which is Natural Threats. His first home is Imminent Victory, which is basically the same map, but in the snow. <laughs> and uh, down in the south, we have the USA Vanilla. For the blue player, this is Fargo. We have an older replay for you today, at least several months old, I believe. Up in the north, we have the red super weapon general, which is Boyka. So yeah, Boyka with the army disadvantage here. And I think uh, Fargo's very keen on USA mirrors. I think he prides himself on being decent at uh, USA mirrors. Looks like he is going for a drop with a dozer inside. And Boyka also going for a drop. Pretty much the same build order from both, but Boyka has opted for a second barracks over on this right side. Boyka coming in with a 3MD drop. Is Fargo paying attention? Boyka's drop could have been a little bit quicker there, to be honest. And the laser lock from Boyka could also be a little bit quicker. Fargo slow moving his Chinooks regardless and loses one. Um, where's the Fargo drop? <laughs> God, there it is. Yeah, a bit weird here from Fargo. It is difficult in USA mirrors because when you're going for a drop and the enemy's going for a drop, you've got to pay attention in two places. And even if you look away for a split second, it's literally could be decided right there and then. It could be decided uh, just by losing one extra Chinook or or whatever. But if, if you shut down the enemy's drop with a nice laser lock on the Chinook before it can land, then that's obviously very good and can be game-ending as well. So, yeah, you've really got to pay attention. Just like a really delicate matchup. More so than the others. Of course, if you look away for a split second in other matchups, it can change things as well. But, I mean, if you, if you lose your drop and then lose the Chinook back at home, that's probably GG just literally based on that. I suppose you could say the same about GLA Mirror, though, if your TNT fails and the other one hits. But it's just because the Chinooks here are so expensive and so easy to laser lock. Yeah, that is why. But Boyka is actually in a decent position, you know. He's got a War Factory up. Fargo also has a War Factory up. Boyka is fully collected on two supplies, two Chinooks on each. But once again, not paying attention to his missile defenders. He could have at least weakened or maybe even killed that V. Fargo coming in now with a double attack. One on this left-hand side. It's going to run straight into an EMP there. Ooh, EMP's low power. Fargo might decide to actually go in. Ooh, okay, power's back. I was going to say he might decide to go in. Boyker seems to be on it, you know. He's got the weaker army here. And he's also harassing Fargo down in the bottom left. Neither player has the oils just yet. And Boyke just seems on the defense. Like, he's got he's got defense here. He's got defense here. He's uh, got an EMP on the left. And he's also attacking. And Fargo can't collect on this right-hand side yet. Is Boyke going to laser lock here? He is. Goes to the laser lock, but the V is tucked now behind the supply. Does get himself a V anyway. Yeah, this is nice play from Boyke. Apart from that slow drop in the beginning... But he definitely would take his position here. Another EMP being deployed. So pretty much one of the only places Fargo can attack is there. But you'd have to literally go down that exact path. Like probably follow this actually. Or just the left of it. Hmm. Fargo coming in with a Chinook on the left-hand side to pick up a Ranger. Probably going to go and drop it over here, maybe. Boyka coming in with a pretty big attack. Has unloaded his stuff quite far back here, though. Might be researching the tow upgrade right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, how is Fargo going to deal with this? Because he can't collect right now. He needs to move these Chinooks out of the way. Losing more HP on these Chinooks. Fargo does clear it up, actually. Mainly with the help of those MDs chipping away at it. Fargo does not have any oils. Poik is actually building an airfield and a strat, so he wants to head for Aurora's. Fargo coming in with a drop in the middle. Boyk is getting his oil. I think Boyk is ahead in so many ways. The thing that's still going for Fargo, though, is the army advantage. His V's are cheaper. Uh, yeah, what army is he? He's USA, so his V's cost 700, whereas Boyk has cost 850. But Boyk has a tow upgrade as well, has an extra oil. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be on Aurora soon. Nice laser logs here from Fargo and Boyka, likewise. But Boyka is going to come out on top there. He's trying to move his ambulance out of the way, but it's getting laser locked and goes down. Boyka building another EMP. I think he needs another power plant as a backup because he's only got one at the minute. He is getting a uh, Colonel Burton. And Fargo's building a CC. Fargo very slow getting these oils, considering he's have had uh, ranges there for a while. Yeah, Fargo, I don't know if he's going to be able to get in anywhere or even escape without V alive at all, to be honest. If it goes north, it goes into an EMP. Or she's going to die to that V. Or if it went le uh, down south, it would have um, been laser locked to death as well. So, Not an ideal position for, f for Fargo because Auroras are out now as well. Trying to figure out what that actually hit, though. Or did it just... Not hit anything. Or maybe hit here. Yeah, Alf back in the air. Once again. Oh, but you might get laser locked. But is the alpha too fast? Looks like it. Alpha's coming in again. No trees on fire. That's sometimes what the alpha auroras do. Set the trees on fire as well. Fargo's finally trying to get himself some oils, but it seems like an absolute age. He's been standing around. Two misses there. From Boyko with the Auroras. If Fargo does escape with his Vs. Yeah, this oil on the left is still neutral. Two alphas still circling in Boyka's base. I think Fargo economically is ahead, but the alpha's coming in again and wrecking absolutely everything. Fargo in a bit of a choke point there. Fargo might just quit, rage quit at that Search point. And Search and destroy now in play for Fargo. I wanted to say Fargo's economically ahead because he was the one collecting from the middle with an additional Chinook. I wonder whether he needs to now drop down a uh, second war factory and just spam lots of empty Tovies. Or whether sticking with fully loaded Vs is still the way forward. Boyka's targeting doesn't seem the absolute best, so so far I think it's okay for Fargo to stick with the same strat. But an Alpha coming in again, forces the Vs to X, split, and yeah, Boyka wins that engagement. Nice play from Boyka to be fair.
perspective for Boyka takes out Fargo's on the oil. So Boyka's on a two oil advantage now. It's just a really solid and safe play now from Boyka, to be honest. He hasn't, he hasn't got to rush into anything at this point. His alpha's coming in, doing some crazy damage. Fargo does survive there with a lot of these as well. But the power now being built for Fargo. Does he need that? He is taking out this oil on the left. Boyka's expanding to the middle. Colonel Burton has killed Boyka's only oil. So all the oils are going to go down now. And if Fargo parks load of Vs here, then these Chinooks won't be able to collect. You can do an EMP there all you want. But still, if there's a line of Vs like here, then these should get stopped. Fargo is coming in. I think it's an empty V, though. Still might stop that dozer. Where are the Alphas? They're coming in now. Raining down some damage and destruction here for... Boyka's ground forces now to have an easier time. EMP is up as well. Fargo continuing to spam the units. But Colonel Burton <laughs> is going for a true walk. I, I don't know if Fargo can actually kill that. Unless he made a Comanche and scanned it. I don't think he can actually kill that. So Colonel Burton is just chilling in a tree. <laughs> Probably until the end of this game. If Fargo stays there at least. Yeah, Boyka has more Vs out, more EMP defense. He's ahead in XP. Alpha's coming back through. And that's insane damage. Only one V there survives. And Boyka now entering the base with so many Vs. I don't think Fargo's going to be able to hold this. Coming in, wrecking everything. Colonel Burton just still chilling down at the bottom right. Boyka now entering the base with probably what's going to be the killer blow. This has just been a really solid performance from Boyka. Ever since that bit of a stalled and weird start there from Fargo, he has now been defeated. It's like weird because initially his drop came in. Fargo's drop and then he went back and then he went back in again. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit slower. I felt, I felt like in the beginning maybe it was caught a little bit cold. And Boyka's drop in the beginning was better. Uh, even though it was a slow laser lock, it was a slow drop and then a slow laser lock. But Boyka was just more on it, more on his defense and then also killed that first Chinook as well. And it just shows you uh, probably probably a lot of it stems from that, how well the first drops went. Boyka's was successful and Fargo's kind of failed a bit. So yeah, Boyka wins there with the weaker army. GG. Well played, let me know what you thought in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to support the channel whilst also protecting yourself online, consider getting NordVPN using my link in the description. It will hide your IP when playing Zero Out online, either through Revora or Game Ranger, and you won't lose any internet speed. So use my link in the description for a massive discount and a 30-day money-back guarantee.